sometimes you may want to create a text box that wraps around a circle. So you know how to make a regular text box and by doing this you just use your T and you just make a box and, and you start typing. Well sometimes you might want to type around a shape like a circle or a rectangle or you know triangle, whatever you can think of, but you want the text to go around the outside. To do that you do the the hidden tool underneath the type tool. To get that you right click or you click and hover and this will pop out and you'll you want to choose the type on path tool. Once you select that you can click any of the shapes on the outside and start typing around it. So I want to type around this this large gold circle so let's zoom in a little bit and I want it to start around here. So I just click the shape and I start typing. You can have it say whatever you want and when you want to adjust it, you just highlight it and you go to your character tools or character and you can increase the size and you can you can change the type and all of this. The one thing you definitely want to make sure you do is make sure there's a lot of space, white space between the shape and the text. To do this, you double click on the type tool and get this type on path options box to show up. Make sure preview is selected so you can see what you're doing. You can go through here and choose different effects, so just watch the, over here, you can have skew, 3D ribbon, stair step, these kind of things. Uh, I like to just keep it on rainbow, but the alignment is what you really want to change here. So you want it to be a cinder, I mean I'm sorry, descender, so it goes above the shape, see it adds all of this white space above the shape so it's not sitting right on top of the yellow. If you wanted it to go inside the circle, you would use a cinder. So it's going on the inside of the shape. But in this case, we want it to do descender. And then you hit OK. And so you make it say again whatever you want it to say. Uh, the one other change that you can do, say you don't want it to start right here, you want it to start back here. Well, if you try to hit backspace, nothing's going to happen. So you have to turn on your, direct, or your selection tool and look for these two little lines. So I'll zoom in so you can see what, the, see what this looks like here. So there's two little lines. There's one with a line and, and the square going to the right and there's one with the line and square going to the left. You want to hover over this until that little symbol appears that looks like a, a arrow pointing to the right and you can move, you can start to move the line this way. Then you can move this one, whoops, undo. You can hover over this one and move it, see it, wait till that line appears and start to move it this way to make room. And then you can move this one back. If you click and drag and it doesn't do it, what it's trying to do is move the text. Just click somewhere and then hit undo. No biggie there. But again, make sure that little arrow appears and then you can move these lines to the left. So just to show you what it would look like if you were going to type on the inside, I'm going to go in and the side over here and just show you a little circle. First you make a circle and say I want the type to go on the inside. I'm gonna type, click the um, type on path tool and just say wow uh, and then double click this go to ascender and then it is on the inside. You can also hit flip and it flips around and starts going the other way Okay, you can highlight all this. It'll let me. And increase the size. You can increase the kerning or the tracking. And in this case, this shape doesn't have a stroke. So if you go into preview, well, of course it's not going to show this over here. If you go into preview, this line will disappear, and then it'll just be this circular text. You won't see the circle at all. You'll just see the text. That is your type on path tutorial.